Hey guys, Big Boss here for MGC and what I have here today is the Red Dragon H301 Siren 2 gaming headset. The Siren 2 is a 7.1 surround sound headset, priced at around $34 on Amazon. However, here in the Philippines, nakuha tong Siren 2 for about 1,350 pesos or around $26. Now, let's take a look at the headset up close. The housing of the drivers is mostly just glossy plastic but fair in quality. And on both sides is the Red Dragon logo that lights up when the headset is plugged in. However, it is not in RGB, just this red Red Dragon logo. The frame of the headset is this thin brushed metal with the auto adjustable headband. So the feeling of your head being mashed is not present here. This headphone feels very comfortable on that area and on the top of the headband is the Red Dragon brand etched on it. The frame, although thin, is quite durable and does not flex much. There's the logo again on the left side and also the microphone. It's not retractable or anything, it just stays there. Check out the sound test later on in this video. The ear cups of this headphone is wide so comfort is ensured. The material is leather though so it does get hot. The ear cups is removable so if you want a different one you can swap them out. The frame of the headset can accommodate if your head is a bit wide. Unfortunately, the ear cups does not swivel which can be an issue for some people. Though I don't find it that much of a trouble because the cushions are soft and wide enough to compensate for small adjustments. So my head does not feel very mashed in even when wearing it for long periods of time. The cable by the way is this thick braided black cable. Which is good for durability however it is quite heavy. Not to mention that a bit down on the way of the headset is a controller. This headset by the way does not come with a software so this is pretty much it for adjustments. So the controller has three functions. First is the volume wheel. I always keep it at about 90% with the volume on my windows at 100%. The other wheel with the vibration label is basically how you will control the amount of bass you will get. And the bass actually sounds nice. Especially for gaming when you max out the bass and there are a lot of explosions, you can actually feel the driver vibrating. And the last button up top is the mute button for the microphone. And when you press it, the light on the controller will turn blue. The color is red by default the moment you plug it in. Oh and by the way, the connectivity for this headset is USB, not a 3.5mm jack. So if you want to try using it at say your phone, you would need an OTG adapter. Now testing the microphone of the Red Dragon H301 Siren 2. I would say the sound quality of the microphone is pretty good. My voice is a bit muffled but you can clearly understand what I am saying. My problem with the microphone however is that it picks up everything. Like when I type on my keyboard or clicking on my mouse. You can clearly hear it. But it does sound good overall, so no complaints there. Now, in the subject of sound, I would say this headset has a very good sound. Comparable to some more expensive ones that I have used. Playing games with this headset, the accuracy of the positional audio is very good. I can really tell without looking where the sound of footsteps or gunshot is. It's also good for listening to music and watching movies as the sound quality is very clear and has very good highs and lows. The noise cancellation on these is good too. It does not cancel out all sounds outside even when having high volume, but it cancels out unnecessary ones like noise outside, sounds of your noisy AC or PC, which is good because I can still hear properly when someone is calling for me or if I knocked over something. Alright, pros and cons time. With the pros, the headset has good sound quality, 7.1 surround sound, controller for sound and bass adjustment, microphone mute button, comfortable cushions and headband, the headset looks good, and it's affordable. For the cons, the microphone picks up everything, 
the cushions does get hot when the ambient temperature is quite hot, the cable is heavy, and there is no software, but this is debatable. Alright, for my conclusion, I think this headset is a very good bang for your buck at around this 30-ish dollar price range. You can get all the features you want with a gaming headset, especially one with the 7.1 surround sound. The durability is still one of the questions here, but I got this headset at around March this year. With that said, I highly recommend this headset, especially if you can get a good deal for it. This is Big Boss from Midnight Gaming Central. See you in the next one.